Hello everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hey everybody. We are on part 10. Yes. Of our Donkey Kong Country 3 Let's Play. Yeah, 10 parts. It's amazing. We, we're in the double digits. Yeah. And we're just uh, driving our little jet ski up and trying to go up the waterfall. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah. Uh, they have special equipment. Yes. That... You'll, uh, you'll probably get hurt if you try to do that in real life. And they are all... What? Wait. <gasps> there was a save cave? <laughs> there was a save there spot was access. this whole time? We had access to the save spot in the... <laughs> okay, uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yahoo! That was after being... After all that traveling and traversing... The Apparently, right here. yes. Oh, it's after beating the first level, I think. The first level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was an accident. You did, we didn't even. I didn't no. know that that was the case. I no. thought you had to loop around. <laughs> no, obviously. Um. Well, good job, my friend. You found it. We could have gone there this whole time. Okay. Sorry, guys, we did not know. No, we did not. Uh, so, yeah, you're probably writing in all caps in the comments. Why are you missing that? It was right there. You had access to it. Yeah. Sorry, we didn't look at the comments yet. <laughs> yeah, since we record ahead of time, it's. That's true. You'll have to wait till next month for us to respond yeah. to your comments. Well, I mean, we'll respond, you know, once we see them. But oh, absolutely, yeah. In terms of, like, on the video, us acknowledging the comments, we'll have to wait till next month. Right. So you'll probably hear from us about it when the next episode broadcasts of this, yeah. uh, or, the or later in the series. It could be another video that we comment about it. But, uh, for the most part, we try- do we try to keep it game that we're playing related? I think we do, don't we? For the most part, yeah. I thought so, yeah. I know we were talking about other stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, we what? talk about other games, other genres. The other games we're playing, the stuff yeah, we're doing. exactly. Sometimes we talk history, sometimes we talk anime, sometimes we... We talk history. Well, video game history related to what oh. we're playing. Right. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. I, don't I mean, I don't think we. I don't think you'd want me to talk about the historical subjects and concepts that I researched in my college days. <laughs> I don't want to go back to history class. I didn't think um, you did. So. <laughs> uh, Nor did our viewers. So. Yeah, I was just thinking. Like, Oof. The signing of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, <laughs> no! I mean, no, it's important, but... Uh, uh, well, yeah, but not... It, it won't it help was, you complete this video game. Yeah, and it was taught in a very dry way in my school, so... That's true. And then the, I'm very bad at remembering specific dates. Um, and, like... You know, which wars happened when. Yeah. Um, I'm a little bit better with, like, if you give me something to relate to it, the words, you know, I was a little bit better at the, you know, why was this war going on, you know, that kind of thing. Right, and I worry when it's, when it's just memorizing names and dates, then that gets lost in understanding history. Yeah, because honestly, sometimes since that was what it seemed like they wanted us to remember on the test, I would occasionally be like, wait, what was this battle even about? I mean, some of the obvious ones I, I get, but sometimes, you know. Right. Um, and like, I think if they made... Craps! Uh... And some classes did this, but a lot of them didn't if they, like, made them, like, you know, talked about them, like, their personalities, what kind of people they were, yeah. uh, made them a little more, uh, 
human because they were humans. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, I think that would have made it easier for me. I've always been a very, you know, people person. I've been interested in, you know, psychology type of things. Um, if they had related it to that a little bit more or even made it like a story or something, um, like yeah. one of my teachers did with Western Civ, uh, his, in his lectures he told it very much like a story, like a, a narrative and, you know, the historical figures were characters in the narrative and that made it a lot easier to remember. Aha. Uh, so yeah, that kind of thing. But uh, that's anyway. Long story short, that's why I'm like history. No. <laughs> I think you would have liked my American history professor at Carroll. Ah. Uh. Because he taught in a similar way. Oh, uh, okay. Sadly, not enough teachers teach that way. Like my Japanese history teacher did not teach that way. He taught the way I described earlier. Uh, you know, the assumption that everybody is, like, super interested um, to the point where, you know, they can do it in a, a dry way they want. Yay, we made it. Because um, here's the thing about me in Japan. Um, I like Japan today more than I like Japan of yesterday. And I don't know if that's controversial or what, but... <laughs> That's how I feel. Well, at least you're not like those guys who keep getting, uh, how should I say it? You know how annoying it was when, say, the Ninja Tur 80s Ninja Turtles cartoon depicted Japan as mm -hmm. if the Tokugawa era was still happening? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't care for that at all. Yeah, um, same. And I think... Aha! Okay. Well, I mean... No. There are some interesting elements to Japanese history, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, in terms of the kind of country... That you know what to do. Yeah, Japan was... I'm just not as interested in it as the country it is now. In comparison. In comparison, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because they were, they used to be a lot more aggressive, a lot more militaristic. And, uh, mm -hmm. Not really into that. I, I, um, I've never been a super big fan of the samurai. I relate more to the, like, time when they were peaceful and bored and so they got into the arts and stuff. So the Great Era of Peace. The Great um, Era of Peace. From the 1600s to the 1850s. Yeah, although um, there it was still kind of a boring part, but there was uh, a lot of good literature that came out of that uh, era, and I like Japanese literature. See, right. I wish that my college had more like film and literature and stuff for Japan. Oh, and for Asia in general, but they really didn't at the time. I hope you guys do now. Please tell me you do now. You heard it. If not, and, um, you know, you're still in charge of... I wonder. Um, I don't know if I should say his name. You don't have to. Philosophy professor, you know who you are if you're still in charge um, I think I should take a at my university. Uh, please uh, incorporate those classes as best you can. Yeah. Cause, see, right before I left, um, they changed the person who was in charge of Asian studies, um, you know, from a old white guy who was in charge of the history department to um, our, uh, the head of the philosophy department who, you know, uh, is from South Korea. Um, uh, so, I don't know. 
Uh, it's just my opinion that was a very good change. Cause <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> of obvious reasons, I think. Well, yeah. And I would certainly want someone who's familiar with the subject they're teaching to be the management of it. Yeah, and I think part of the issue, like, most of the Asian Studies courses were history. And it's obvious why. It's because the history... Uh, head of the history department was in charge so of course he would focus on majorly history courses and I it was so annoying to me because I wanted to know more about Asia than just history like Asia still exists now <laughs> we could talk about modern issues uh, yeah. As, or you know uh, I'm more interested in learning about the culture by the way, they should have called it East Asian Studies because other than, like, uh, I guess uh, the Buddhism course and one course that was um, Ooh, Southeast Asian politics, huh. other than those two courses, it was primarily East Asia. And when I say right. East Asia, I mean primarily uh, Japan, China, and Korea. Sort of like how some Western civilization classes cover West Asia and Europe, but then Western Civ 2 covers Europe exclusively. Right, that, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Well, you let me on with the first one because... <laughs> <clears throat> It seemed a little groundbreaking to cover Middle Eastern civilization with European civilization mm -hmm. as Western Civ. And when you're not including the Middle East in the second chapter, that's kind of exclusionary. Mm -hmm. And admittedly, I always thought of roughly Iran as where Western civilization borders eastern civilization, so... These darn penguins yeah. just won't let up. No, they won't. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, so yeah, um... Yeah, definitely. Um, it's good to be uber-specific if, if you're going to target just one area that's just me. Correct. Uh, and I mean, it's also because there are other colleges where they do specify, where they, they do specifically have an East Asian Studies major. Mm. Uh, so that's why I was saying, well, you know, they should have specified. Yes. I think they wanted to cover more of Asia, but it, they just didn't have the faculty for it. That always hurts. Yeah. So I think that's why they... And I mean, technically, it was a... It wasn't even its own thing. It was like a branch of interdisciplinary studies. That's not cool. And yeah, so like... On my diploma... It says interdisciplinary studies. But it was Asian studies. Um, but I remember the... Um, Yes! Woman who hired me for my job teaching in Japan, she was like, Oh, by the way, on your letter, you said that you um, majored in Asian studies, but it says interdisciplinary on your degree. And I had to explain, and I got very frustrated with the college. Yeah, I don't blame you. I said, well, it was... Um, that was the specific branch of interdisciplinary studies that I did, and yeah. the reason I didn't list interdisciplinary studies is, um... The ready for a... oh wait, I was gonna say ready for a snowball fight? Sure... Where is it? Well... Up here. Okay. Oh! Wait, who's that? Oh, no, this is a... <laughs> My word, how on earth did you find me up here? Uh, sorry, that's my... <laughs> <laughs> you 
I attempt to conquer K3, but looks like I'm going to miss the best friend of Blue's birthday. Oh. Yeah. So we have to deliver give the a present to Blue. Okay. Well, that'll cheer him up, don't you think? Yes. Okay. Let's uh, go save. Yes, we should save that. Save the game. Uh, what was I? Oh. So yeah, uh, and I mean, she was like, "Well, you should change what you say and say that you majored in interdisciplinary studies," but. I wasn't going to do that because, you know, a lot of times the teaching jobs in Japan, uh, you know, it's a plus if they see that, you know, you either st majored in English, which I didn't, or, you know, you've studied some about, uh, Bleak's house. Japanese culture. There's no house. Yeah, the, oh, <laughs> that's not a house. Sorry, I was not ready. Okay, so... So what button throws it? Um, it looks like A does that. A, okay. And for those who notice that there's a swanky spot there, that's to help you get practice. Yes, and I suck at the swanky thing. But I did get him. Yep, you did. Before and is he getting a heart attack? No, I think it... it just... Hurts him when you hit him in the weak spot? I don't know. Ah. Poop! I kept thinking that my mom was back, but maybe that's just the kitty cats walking. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird that sometimes that sounds like human footsteps when they walk slow enough. Yeah. It also looks like he's laughing. I think he is laughing too. Yes. No, he's gonna Whoa. fire. Monster balls from his hat. <laughs> this ain't Frosty the Snowman, kids. No, he's he's bleak. Uh, the cousin who was disowned by Frosty's family. Yeah. For being not a very pleasant guy. Mm-hmm. Always picking snowball fights. Yes. And the kids didn't want to play with him. No, no, because they would freak <laughs> out. Yes. Do melt away, they said. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting and disturbing. Sorry about that. <laughs> the kids were so mad at him, they wanted him to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is kind of terrible. Yes. Do you want to build a snowman, Elsa? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Uh, I, I need help, don't I? <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's, it's no different than uh, most of the humor when we were first, when the internet was first uh, doing online video stuff. Right. In fact, it's very close to the humor we saw in the early internet. Ah, oh, crimey. The new grounds and yes. YouTube when YouTube was a baby. Yep. Before YouTube got into um, ads. ads with Google, and then we had to be a little bit careful with what we, the jokes we did. Crabs. Mm. Keep forgetting the name. And yeah, you're right. Getting ah! Whoa! Dookie. Yeah, I suck at the swanky tent thing. That's why I. But. I'm just gonna throw. You got him. Yeah. I wonder why he has that glowing red and yellow orb on his scarf. Uh, I don't know, but that's where we're supposed to hit. Yep. If it wasn't obvious. That's true. Uh, 
of crabs. Yeesh. Close. Whoa. Two. two three. three. Shoot. Whoa. Too late. Christmas. Yes. You know, I never understood why Frosty is a Christmas thing. Because people built snowmen. Oh, Christmas you're time. right. Yeah. Okay, now he's more aggressive. Because in most areas in the U.S., that's when we have enough right. snow to build a snowman. Right. Although, that... although in our uh, state specifically, it's more like January, February. Correct. Oof! But I think in... Um... Oh, jeez. Game over now, already. this is scary, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to play the whole song. Right. You've seen the entire thing. Oh yeah, we played it for you a lot of times. <laughs> yes. Put the video in and... The one thing that you guys can count on with us is uh, knowing what the game over screens look like. You will... Yep. We've got you there, guys. You will never have to worry about... Yeah. Or you'll never have to wonder, what does the game over screen... Feel free to reference us for game over screens. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes. You could play a, a game how many times do we see game over screen? Not a, do not, uh, I don't recommend doing a drinking game or anything like oh, that. Oh no, that could be dangerous. Just maybe you, uh, uh what's something you can do? Uh, do it, oh, if you do, do it with, like, fruit juice or, or water, soda. Yeah. Or you can get, um, like, carbonated juice. Right. That too. Because then you get the, the sparkly feeling without having any alcohol. And the, the worst right. that can happen if you drink too much is you burp a lot. Right. Uh, not pleasant, but not deadly. <laughs> At least... I don't think so. I don't think so. Can you explode with all that? I don't. I suppose you... if you drink way too much. Right. Whoa. Four. Three. Four. Three. Poo! And a two. A two. That's a nasty-looking kill top, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Not particularly pleasant looking. Yeah. Certainly not friendly. Ah, yes. Okay, so I can't reach him back there, basically. Right. You have to adjust your aim. I know, it's... Okay, there we go. Alright. It's like one of those carnival games. It is. By the way, that wasn't really that good a game on the Wii. <laughs> carnival games, huh? <laughs> yeah. Right. I know, um, I wanted to sell my copy, but mom wanted to keep it for some reason. Oh, okay. It's not very good. Oh, crap. No, it isn't. It's kind of cheesy. Yeah. And, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got bored with it really quickly. I know it's trying to be Wii Sports, but at the same token, it Wii isn't. Sports with carnival games. Yeah. Um, you, I, f I felt I had a lot more fun with Wii Sports. Three, two, three. Uh, and I mean, even with Wii Sports, no offense to it, but I didn't really find myself replaying, oh. replaying it a lot. Oh. It was the kind of thing where I played it a lot when it first came out, and then I kind of... Ah, crap. But this is also because I don't really have a lot of friends that I play with, so... If, this, right. if the single-player stuff isn't that engaging... Well, I got a lot of use out of the boxing. 
but yeah. I yeah, understand. the boxing was fun. Yeah, definitely. I'm not saying they weren't fun. I'm just saying I got kind of lost interest quickly. Understandable. In terms of the replay. Ah. Um, this is a pain in the butt. It is a pain in the butt. There we go. There we go. Alright, so it's now firing at us. Whoa. That was close. And yeah. <laughs> okay. It's getting intense. It is very intense. Oops. I missed. Okay. Well, three, two, three. Shoot. There we are. You got. Oh. And now he's being a jerk. Yeah. Oh. Alright, now the fast one. Oh. Now we go super fast. Oh. Yeah, it's like. Boom! No. Nailed me. We were getting, we were doing good that time. I know. So close. As, as we end our Christmas celebrations in July. Yeah, Christmas in July. Sorry, I was trying to survive longer than I know. That. I know, it's frustrating. It didn't work, yeah. I know, it didn't. Sorry, bud. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, when I'm not speaking English and talking gobbledygook, uh, yeah, I'm panicked. It is pretty intense. It is. I'm being shot at by a snowman. Yes, an evil snow. Yes. One, two, With snowballs that are apparently kill you. Yeah. Deadly snowballs. Yeah. Kinda makes you think, really. Ah! Oh! Crap! Jeez. <laughs> no. We're near the end of the video. We yes. need a miracle. A miracle, yes. No. Dookie! Wow. No. More like, more like 42nd Street. But I think that's somewhere else. Koopa the top of that. Koopa? No! <laughs> Uh -huh. That's a different game. Yeah, that is a different game. I'm sorry, ladies and gents. Uh, yeesh. Oh, that time. For some reason, I thought pressing down would make it go up. <laughs> oh. Like, you know, putting more power into it, like... Like winding, I, I the, understand. winding yeah. your hand back type of thing. Yeah. But no, it was up. Right. That's why I was not. Uh, Oof. Okay, got him. Okay. All right. So under the red sky, we dodge bullets. Red sky. Yes. It's like a scary story. I want to say Stephen King, don't you think? <laughs> The Shining, this is not. No. I don't think he's ever had a evil snowman, has he? Mm. Well, I know in his book he had evil lawn sculptures. But... Oh, that That's you, although yeah. we are pretty much out of time. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we might as well end here, guys. Oh, well, well hopefully, we'll give it a go in the next part. Yep, next hopefully week. August we can not have Christmas, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no more Christmas <laughs> in August. All right, yes, guys. save it for December, kids. See you later. See you, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.